Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Vauxhill, Hill, known also as the Battle of Milton, located in Rutherford County, Tennessee, on March 20th, 1863. Setting out on a raid, Union Colonel Albert Hall's brigade left Murfreesboro on March 18th. They were ordered to conduct raids against the Confederate forces in the area. In retaliation, Confederate command ordered Confederate Brigadier General John Hunt Morgan to capture destroyed raiders. And by March 20th, Hunt had caught up with Hall's rear guard just west of Milton. Seeing the approaching Confederates, Hall positioned his men along a place called Vaught's Hill, which consisted of a very steep hill with rocky outcroppings. Taking advantage of the terrain, he set his men up in a perimeter defense at the top. When Confederate General Morgan assessed the situation, he ordered a direct frontal attack. As his men crossed the open ground towards the hill, they were hit by devastating artillery fire. Not hesitating, Morgan continued the attack several more times that afternoon, never getting very far up that hill. Even when he was successful in surrounding the hill, they kept him off it. Later that day, he learned that Murfreesboro had sent Union reinforcements and this forced him to retreat. Estimated losses were 38 Union soldiers killed, wounded, or missing, while the Confederates suffered 150 men killed, wounded, captured, or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.